Hey y'all, Caleb Goldsmith here with another uh, Light in a Match video. We are doing a night burn. We've been burning all day. We had really good weather for the night, so we decided to continue burning, and it's going to rain for the next 10 days, so we figured might as well burn while the, while the iron's hot. This is, you know, good for a lot of things. Uh, for this specific unit, uh, this hasn't been burned in, I think, 10 plus years. Uh, there's a bunch of gallberry, uh, a lot of uh, duff and... and and fuel in this unit that we really would like to reduce uh, at night where the conditions are a lot calmer and on top of that it's a great training opportunity and really just a good experience for our crew members uh, to burn at night it allows them to see uh, some of these ignition patterns how they spread at night is are way more distinct than what you could uh, see in the daytime you can really see a bunch of embers kind of pitch over you know fire lines and stuff you know all these things that you would never see during the day and so I'll just kind of show you what I'm talking about uh, in terms of uh, the training opportunities here as well as keeping flame lengths low and fire intensity low and you can see how these dots would come together right here so you can see big dot here dot there dot there And you can get on top of this hill, you can see your line of fire, how these dots are gonna run down, hit that fire and stop. On the bottom side of this unit, there's actually a whole bunch of uh, gallberry and that's really the, the primary focus to get rid of some of those gallberry that are about 12 to 15 foot high. So here's some of the hazardous fuels where trying to get rid of right here. Here's a good example of all the embers. You can imagine if the fire break is right here, you can see all these embers going pitching down way over there. You can see where it's raining down. So none of them are catching, but during the day, you're just not seeing that. But at night, you can see how many embers are flying. So that's what we're doing this month. Storing some habitat in some of these sand hills and, and flat woods. Getting some fire on the ground at night. And in a few hours, we'll be getting some shut eye and look forward to seeing you guys uh, next month.